two weeks for uh, electric vehicle minor course of uh, GTU. Uh, today we are going to see uh, about parameters of electric vehicle. We had already discussed the plug diagrams, the benefits of electric vehicle, and uh, why the various technologies are available for the production of electric vehicle. So all these things, uh, all these topics are already uh, we had covered. And today we are going to see on parameters of electric vehicle. Uh, you can say the various components of electric vehicle also. So um, with respect to the GTU examination uh, for our subject, uh, you can say the questions uh, important that is, what are the various parameters of electric vehicle or what are the various components of electric vehicle? So let us see uh, one by one. Here uh, we had seen the block diagram and uh, in the block diagram, we know that there are five subsystems. Okay, in previous uh, session, we had learned about uh, different uh, subsystems of electric vehicle. Okay, that is uh, energy source system, electric propulsion subsystem, auxiliary subsystem, mechanical control uh, subsystem, and charging subsystem. So, uh, if we try to see the major components of the electric vehicle or what are the various parameters of electric vehicle then it comes first one is tool system second is electric motors power converters third one fourth is controllers fifth is chargers gears and wheel and auxiliary system so uh, these are the major components and uh, if it take uh, in detail what are the storage systems available so there are uh, five types of energy storage systems uh, this is going to be uh, studied in detail uh, later on but just i'm touching as we are opening this subject so the storage system uh, we are having mechanical storage system electrochemical storage system thermal storage system electrical storage system and hydrogen based storage system. that is other storage system okay and mechanical uh, storage system we have phes that is pumped hydro energy storage system then there is gravity storage technology then there is caes that is compressed air uh, energy storage system then flywheels are there okay second is electrochemical which is mostly dealing with the batteries uh, lead acid batteries, advanced lead acid batteries, lithium ion, you know, various combinations of lithium ion batteries, flow batteries are there, high temperature batteries, that is sodium sulfate and all, and then the zinc batteries are there. So, based on the electrochemical uh, process uh, in storage system, these are the various batteries available with us, and still research is happening for increasing, especially. Uh, you know, large amount of energy can be stored into the batteries, that is energy density. So based on this research, another uh, batteries are being added day by day. The third storage system is thermal storage system, which is sensible, molten salt based, chilled water based, and uh, ice storage systems are there, PCM, that is phase changing material uh, based storage system is there, and thermochemical storage system is there. Uh, some of these we are going to study in uh, our thermal management system, which is our sixth chapter of the syllabus. So, uh, we are going to have various thermal storage system also, and depending on their capacities, uh, it is uh, being used by different, different applications. The fourth is electrical uh, storage system, that is mm, you know, uh, as we know that electrical are having major three components, resistors, capacitors, and inductors. So based on capacitor, there are super capacitors, and based on inductor, there is super conducting magnetic energy storage system, which includes generally, uh, you know, uh, inductors of large size, and which is having good amount of energy to be stored. Again, depending on the application, it varies. And in other storage system, we have hydrogen based storage system, which is fuel cell based, sometimes hydrogen, sometimes power to gas, and sometimes, you know, compressed hydrogen 
uh, as we have phase changing, similar kind of uh, storage system as well based on hydrogen. So uh, these are the various storage system uh, which is used for different different applications. Okay, some of these are used in electric vehicle, not all, but some of these are used in electric vehicle and uh, by research, uh, we can incorporate some of these also, which is presently not existing in the electric vehicle. Okay. Second component comes that is electric motor. So basically, electric motors are DC, AC, and if we think about different, depending upon the application, so other motors are there. In DC motor, we have sun, separately excited, series motor, PMDC, and compound motor. So these are the various motors, uh, which is having DC supply, okay, and electric motors, AC, that is induction motor and synchronous motor, okay. Other motors based on application, we have stepper motor, brushless motor, hysteresis motor, reluctance motor, that is our switch reluctance, variable reluctance motor, and universal motors also. Some of these are also used in electric vehicle, you know, People are preferring nowadays mostly uh, brushless and some of the large power rating electric vehicles are taking care of three phase induction motors also. And uh, further if we go, then the power converters are there. As we know that battery, in between battery and motor, there is converter. And in between battery and auxiliary system, there is again converter. So depending on the motor selection, we have DC-DC converters that can be buck, boost, buck, boost, etc. And DC-AC type of converter that is single phase, three phase inverters and etc. So uh, these are the power converters, which is also very, very crucial uh, component, very, very important component as this is going to control our motor as well as it will control our charging also. Okay, and uh, various controllers, as you know, in our uh, session of block diagram of electric vehicle, we have a single controller that can be, uh, uh, you know, uh, multi controller based electric vehicle also. So, in that case, the selection of controller uh, has uh, quite an important role that um, depends on what purpose you are selecting the controller, right? So depending on DC motor type, the controller is different, type of power regulation, what uh, kind of regulation you want, whether it is a linear or non-linear kind of regulation for the power, then uh, depending on the power rating of the motor, that, that's because it's uh, ultimately dependent on the current, right? So low current rating and high current rating is there. Then there is motors operating voltage, and that is uh, whether you want DC, that is high voltage or low voltage, so that is low voltage controller and high voltage controller. Then the type of control signal we are going to provide, that is digital controller and uh, analog controller, okay? And type of controller you want. Sometimes in driverless electric vehicle, uh, we need, you know, completely closed control system. So uh, it, it, yeah, it's possible. And, and depending on that, we have open control, that is open loop control and closed loop control. Okay, sometimes in, in case of AC uh, motor selection, we have power management and diagnostic controlling system that is looking after the motor condition. Then we have some feedback mechanisms for uh, controlling. We have uh, proportional and integral controller, PID controllers also, vector control algorithms are also, uh, this is one of the example given, ISO 26262, that is uh, for taking care of the safety and uh, you know servicing so based on that some uh, algorithms are developed now if you want a regeneration then also you have separate uh, controller because it's going to be by direction right and uh, some control mechanism requires you know various connections so depending on the communication uh, stacks it, it varies various sensors for taking care of the signals maybe your thermal maybe your uh, RPM, maybe your you know torque providing, maybe your location of the magnet, maybe location of the staff positioning, etc. And for battery, we have battery management system or the thermal management system. Okay, so uh, this is a controller for 
various components in electric vehicle. Now the charges are there basically uh, in general public says a slow charger and fast charger. But technically we have two terms that is onboard charger and offboard charger. And if you go into the detail of this, we have type one, two, three, four in um, CCS based and uh, CHAdeMO based uh, different charges are there. We are going to see this in detail. So this is just for overview for you. If your charger is slow charger, it is going to be uh, mostly AC charging. And if your charger is DC, it's definitely DC charging. So most of the fast chargers are DC chargers and most of the slow chargers are AC charging system. So depending on various standards and uh, according to SAE, uh, different connectors are there. So this is uh, what another video will come for you that is uh, for chargers. Okay, so this is one of the component, very important parameter of electric vehicle. Okay, then uh, comes gear and wheel. Uh, the selection of gear and wheel depends on uh, your vehicle maximum speed or uh, while you are designing the vehicle, what pickup you want, okay? So maximum speed uh, expectation from your vehicle and minimum speed and time. So while we go with speed and time graph, it comes in the driving cycle. The driving cycle is very important to understand for selection of gear and wheel, as well as for motor, as well as for the battery. So most of the design, if you uh, think of an electric vehicle, it is dependent on driving cycle. We'll see uh, what is driving cycle and all, okay? Then uh, gear and wheel uh, material also depends on the starting torque and generating torque. So selection of uh, gear and wheel depends on all these parameters. So gear and wheel is another important component of electric vehicle. Then auxiliary system is the system which is uh, basically to provide the comfort to the uh, uh, drivers to the riders and for that we have headlights, music system, air conditioning system, mobile charging facility and other uh, utilities. You may have a small refrigerator inside your vehicle. So uh, this is the auxiliary system which is very important to uh, understand and depending on the requirement of the customer, this uh, are going to be incorporated into the electric vehicle. Why we should understand the auxiliary system? Because this system will load your battery, right? So ultimately the power to be taken from the battery, right? So all these load auxiliary facilities will definitely increase the current demand from the battery. It will increase the power demand from the battery. So it is quite important to understand the auxiliary system also. So this is what we have in, uh, in GTU. You may be asked a uh, question based on this. The one is what are the different parameters of electric vehicle and what are the different major components of electric vehicle, okay? So keep watching, do subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.